Okay, people, this is what we got going today. We got some two by two steel tubing, one eighth wall. We're cutting some slots in it. We got uh, right hand pieces, left hand pieces that go together, weld up into a frame. One side has, like I said, the five eighth slot through. It's clearance for a half inch bolt. Goes through both sides of the tubing. Same with the three eighths holes. The three eighths hole clearance goes right through both sides of the tubing. The other side only has the slot. I got 15 of each to do. I already did the first 15 over there. I'm doing the 15 now that have no hole. They only have the slot. This is how we do them. I get them all set up and staged ahead of time. Gonna wipe them down. Sometimes they're kind of dirty. The tubing has a weld seam on it. You can see that weld seam. I just put them all in the same orientation. So when I load them in the vise, they're all facing the same way all the time. I stage them up over here. That's just how I do them. So we got this one in the vise already. Turn the coolant on. I have a 0.265 diameter solid carbide two fluid end mill, which is center cutting. So we will plunge into the tubing and then we'll cut the slots. Here we go. Comes back out to play the chips. Cuts again, cuts the profile again. It's a finished pass though, so it's gonna go do a semi-finished cut on the outside profile. And it's probably about, I don't know, three or four thousand finished pass. side. The tool's going to move out of the way. On the others, it goes and does the 3 8 hole first before it gets out of the way. Now, I'm going to have to flip the pot over, but I only have one hand. I'm holding the camera, so be patient and bear with me. Clear the chips. Open the vise. Remove the pot. Make sure there's no chips in the vise. the chips off the end of the part. Flip it over. Put it back in the vise. Bump the stop. I'm stopping against this right here. I indicated this square with the travel of the y-axis. That way, this end is not square, but the high spot's going to touch on this all the time. So the slot in the X should be relatively close enough for what it's doing every time we flip it over. So now if I had two hands, I'd hold pressure against it and close the vise, but I don't have two hands because I'm holding the camera, so I'm gonna close the vise now. We have a repeat at the very end of our program there, so when we push the button again, repeat, starts over. Rinse and repeat. Plunge through the tubing. Look, make sure the chips are clear. Sometimes they stick to the tool, so. I'm gonna cut the slot on the other side.
that's a semi-finished pass or a spring cut. Basically, it's back on the same pass that it left off on during the rough cut. And I think I got a three or four thousand finish pass, so that's what it's doing now. So that's it for that. She's out of the way. I'll turn the coolant off and blow the chips out of the way. Take it out, rinse and repeat, put a new one in. But I inspect every few. I'll show you how I inspect them. This one's already been deburred. I'll put it on the plate over here just to sit it down. Well, you can just check it like this with the caliper, but the tubing has a, has a radius on the end of it, on the corner. So I just grab it between the blocks like that. So they got a nice square edge to measure up against. And I'll take the caliper and go in and I'll check. And we're running about 1.720. And go to the other side, check the other side. 1.720. So like I said before, this, this tubing is, is pretty consistent in size. So once I found the center line, you can flip them back and forth without any worries of the one slot being off center from the other. If the tubing varied in size, it would be a pain in the ass to get it to be consistent. But a 5 16th slot clearance for a half inch bolt is rather forgiving, so it should be all set there even after it's all welded together. So that's what we're doing. That's what we do here at Titan Machine Tool. It's just one of many things. It's not complicated by any means, but money's money. I'm going to do any work that people want me to do. I am here for you. Thank you very much.